Hey everyone, we're the Pellet Stove uh, Thermoelectric Generator Backup Team. My name is Nick. I'm Ian. I'm Nick. As we're well. here today to talk to you a little bit about our project and give you kind of a rundown of what our prototype is and how it works and how we came up with it. Um, to start off, you know, in Alaska, a lot of homes are run on wood stoves, and uh, recently, or in the last you know few years, pellet stoves have been be becoming more and more popular. However, there's the problem you get with a pellet stove where they run off a pretty significant amount of power. So if your home loses power, your pellet stove will shut off. We set out to try and fix that by creating a thermoelectric generator that harvests excess heat off of a pellet stove to charge a battery backup. All right, so here we have our prototype. This uh, sits on top of the stove, or in our case, in front of the stove. Uh, it has the TEGs, which harvest the power, and it takes hot side and cold side to produce electricity. Uh, we have fans on top, designed to uh, blow cold air over the system. As you can see, we got wires running for both systems down to our battery box down here, where we have two 80 amp uh, batteries, which are designed to, we're hoping for six hours of runtime for the stove. Currently it is actually powering the stove, no wall outlets. Uh, it runs down in, our uh, fan outputs will hook up to the batteries directly, and uh, we have our charge controller, which converts whatever power that the TEGs are making at the heat and turns it into a 12 volt that can then charge the batteries. The batteries are then connected to a power inverter which converts the 12 volt power to the 120 watt or 120 volt power that the stove is required to run. Alright, so I'm going to give you kind of a breakdown of some of the design features and kind of where we started. So the initial idea was to have sort of a, a sturdy plate on which to mount our TEGs as you can see here. And then we came up with sort of a frame to hold off our fans to help cool. And this ramp was installed with rivets here in the center you can kind of see. And so our initial prototype, there was a lot of air movement out of the sides. and we went ahead and in our second iteration installed these plates here to keep airflow directed over our cooling fins to keep our temperature difference a little bit higher. And after that we found there was still some indirect air being blown out of the top here. So after that we kind of designed these plates to be screwed in over the top to help keep air movement maximized over the TEGs. And uh, so the initial prototype, although it was designed to be set on top of a pellet stove, the temperature ended up being a little bit cooler on top than our initial assumptions. So then we fabricated a cover for the door with mounting tabs and mounting holes here in the side and in these tabs so we could fix the TDG assembly to the front where our maximum temperature was found. So here we have our thermoelectric generator hooked to the front of the wood stove as we did for the bulk of our testing in the last few days. Down here we have all of our wire connections so we can follow these two wires hooked to our TEGs over to the charge controller uh, where we can measure the voltage. So for this test we're getting 2.88 volts. So here we have switched over to amperage, made sure we're in DC. Uh, we're getting right about 2.5 amps out of our TEGs.